the death toll in New Jersey rises. Governor Phil Murphy has now extended the public health emergency declaration for another 30 days. Eyewitness News reporter Clee Bryan has more on today's headlines from the Garden State. Wearing a face mask yet again, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy announced 3,361 new COVID-19 cases and 232 more deaths, the highest single day loss of life to date. We don't need to, nor do we want to, in any way, lose any more members of our family. The best way we can protect this New Jersey family is by social distancing. To that end, Murphy signed an executive order closing all state and county parks. We have seen far too many instances where people are gathering in groups in our parks, erroneously thinking since, that they're, since they're outside, social distancing doesn't matter. Also new on Tuesday, health officials say they're developing a statewide plan to address staff and equipment shortages at nursing homes, which have been hard hit by COVID-19. This will be a whole of government approach. It will cover from North Jersey to South Jersey. It will require, in some cases, for patients to be moved around, and that's extremely disturbing to elderly individuals. In an extraordinary effort to stop the spread of the virus, this Friday, Logan Township in Gloucester County will start distributing free face masks to all 6,300 residents in town. We needed to find a way to, you know, maybe saran wrap ourselves, you know, from this virus and try to flatten the curve as they talk about. Those free face masks in Logan Township coming by way of an anonymous donation from a local business. Governor Murphy says for the first time he's also having talks with other governors about what it will look like when businesses can reopen and the local states can return to some sense of normalcy. I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.